Oh, I really do not like how I, how my face actually looks pretty bare bones. <laughs> This is your path to be We're all here just for all the fun Now you're jamming, jamming hard, yeah Heartbeat up all once again Turn your heartbeat up Now you're jamming, jamming hard, yeah Heartbeat up all once again Turn your heartbeat up Hello everyone, yeah it's me Blake Jack coming back at you again with another video. This time since we already talked about, uh, did a video game retrospective talking about the original Resident Evil which you guys can check out in the channel, um, I thought we might as well talk about another Capcom franchise. So I thought we'd talk about the original Devil May Cry. Uh, before we go into that though, how about you guys make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell if you can. And also, don't forget to check me out on my social media, my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch as well, but I am more active on my Instagram and my Twitch page, so you guys can find me posting anything on there, and you feel free to interact with me directly, and also you guys can feel free to catch me on Twitch, where I'm live streaming every now and then, as often as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into talking about Devil May Cry. Uh, Devil May Cry is a 2001 action-adventure game developed by... well, developed developed and published by Capcom, known for Ace Attorney, Resident Evil, Darkstalkers, Resident Evil, um, Resident Street Fighter, <laughs> known for Street Fighter and Mega Man, amongst many other franchises under their belt. Released from December to February, originally for the Sony PlayStation 2, as an exclusive, and still is to this day, well, I say still to this day, apart from the HD remasters that came out, <laughs> uh, is the first game in the Devil May Cry franchise. Set in the modern fictional um, set in modern times on the fictional island, Mallet Island, the story centers around Dante, a demon hunter who uses his business to carry out a lifelong vendetta against all demons. He then meets a woman named Trish, who then takes him on a journey to defeat the demon lord Mundus, uh, who is responsible for the deaths of Dante's brother and mother. The game was originally conceived by Capcom developers as Resident Evil 4, but due to star feeling that it would not fit uh, the Resident Evil franchise, the project became its own title. Several gameplay elements uh, were also inspired by a bug found in Onimusha Warlords. Uh, Devil May Cry received prominent coverage in the game media due to the impact that it had in the action-adventure genre, its high difficulty and the high overall scores given by professional reviewers. Uh, the game sold more than 3 million copies worldwide and it spawned 3 sequels, 1 prequel, a manga, a reboot, an anime series by Madhouse Entertainment, and another anime debuting at some point this year in 2024, uh, premiering on Netflix, being animated by Studio Mur. So, now we've got the basic overview of Devil May Cry, let's go straight into the development of um, Devil May Cry 1. So, first hinted at an early... First hinted at in early December 1999, Devil May Cry started out as the earliest incarnation of Resident Evil 4. Initially developed by the Sony PlayStation 2, the game was directed by Hideki Kamiya, after the producer um, Shinji Mikami requested to, him to create a game, well, a new entry in the Resident Evil series. Around the turn of the new millennium, the regular series writer Noboru Sugimura uh, created a scenario for the title. Based on Kamiya's idea to make a very cool stylized action adventure game, the story was based on an unraveling mystery surrounding the body of the protagonist Tony, an invincible man with skills and an intellect exceeding that of normal people. His superhuman abilities were explained with biotechnology. Obviously they were running with a very big theme, all thanks to Resident Evil through that. As Kamiya felt that the playable character did not look brave and hero enough, heroic enough in battles from a fixed angle, he decided to drop the pre-rendered backgrounds from the previous Resident Evil installments and instead opted for a dynamic camera system. This new direction required to learn, yeah, required the team to take, make a trip all across Europe, uh, where they spent 11 days in both the United Kingdom and Spain, photographing things like gothic statues, bricks and stone pavements for the use in textures. 
Though the developers did try to make the coolness theme fit into the world of Resident Evil, Mikami felt that it strayed too far from the series' horror roots, and gradually convinced all staff members to make the game independent from it. Kamiya then eventually rewrote the story to be set in a world full of demons, taking it from the Italian poem Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri. Uh, he changed the, name, the hero's name to Dante. Uh, the title character from Buichi Terasawa's manga series Cobra was served as the basis for Dante's personality. Um, Kamiya did base the idea of Dante on what he perceived as stylish, wearing a long coat to make the character more showy and a non-smoker, as which Kamiya saw as that as cool. Uh, the character wears red because in Japan it, it is a traditional colour of a heroic figure. Kamiya also stated it, that he perceives Dante as a character that you'd want to go out drinking with. Someone that was not a, a show-off, but it would instead pull off some ridiculous mischievous jokes to endear people near him. Uh, he also added the aspect that he would intend to make the character feel familiar to audiences. Uh, the cast of characters reimagined largely identical that, to that in Sugimura's scenario. All the appearances of the hero's mother and father were written out of the story entirely. Uh, the game's new title was then revealed as Devil May Cry in November 2000. According to Eurogamer, an earlier Capcom arcade game named Strider, which came out in 1989, was a vital influence on Devil May Cry itself. According to Retro Gamer, the over-the-top action of Devil May Cry draws a lot from um, other influences from Strider as well. Uh, now we're going to go straight into the gameplay. So um, this is the overall basis of the gameplay on how it's explained. Uh, the gameplay consists of 23 le levels, um, actually called missions in the game, where players must fight numerous enemies, uh, perform platforming tasks, and occasionally solve puzzles to progress through the game's story. The player's performance in each mission is give, given a letter grade, starting with D, increasing to C, B, and N, A. With an additional grade of S, grades were based on the time taken to complete the mission and the amount of red orbs that you've gathered and how stylish your combat was and item usage that was taken. Um, stylish combat is defined by performing an unbroken series of varied attacks while avoiding damage. With the player performance ta uh, tracked on the, by an on-screen gauge, um, the more hits the player makes as the higher the gauge rises. The gauge starts out as dull, then progresses through cool, bravo and absolute, and peaks at stylish. Repeatedly using the same moves can cause the gauge to stop rising, encouraging the player to use every single move in their arsenal. The gauge then the the gauge uh, the gauge terms are similar to the grades given to that at the end of missions. When Dante receives damage, the style rate in the resets back to dull. The player can also maintain their style grade by taunting enemies at a close range. Uh, the player can also temporarily transform Dante into a more powerful demonic creature by using the Devil Trigger ability. Which also, go play the meme, as you do. <laughs> Top things on the things! You're not even making sense! Uh, doing so adds powers based on the current weapon and changes Dante's appearance. The transformation typically increases the strength and defense and slowly restores health, and can also grant special attacks. This ability is governed by the Devil Trigger gauge, which then depletes as the ability is used, but then is refilled by attacking enemies or taunting no in the normal form. Devil May Cry also contains puzzles and other challenges besides regular combat gameplay. The main storyline often requires the player to find key items to advance, in a manner similar to the puzzles of, in the Resident Evil series, as well as optional platforming and exploration tasks to find the hidden catches, uh, caches of orbs. Uh, side quests called secret missions in the game are located in hidden or out of the way areas and are not required for the completion, but provide a more permanent power ups. Uh, they typically challenge the player to defeat a group of enemies within a specific manner or within a certain time limit or to solve a puzzle. And you also got difficulty modes as well, which I got to mention as well, because Devil May Cry is so known for its unforgiving difficulty at certain points in, in the franchise, especially Devil May Cry 3. <laughs> Fuck, I couldn't jump after that one. And he's got that, and that is the end. Oh! There are four modes in total, being 
normal, e well, easy, normal, hard, and Dante must die. With each one increasing in difficulty, players can start on normal mode, but then can unlock the other modes after playing and finishing the game. So that's all the basic stuff that we can cover on Devil May Cry. So now, if you haven't played Devil May Cry, I'd highly recommend that you guys go on Steam. You can probably find the HD collection somewhere, or if you go to like any second-hand store that can sell you a copy of the original Devil May Cry on PS2, I'd highly recommend you guys try and do that as well, if you possibly can. Or get the HD collection on any other platform, like whether it be an Xbox One, PS4, possibly PS5 on the digital stores, or on like Steam or the Switch. So we're going to go into major spoiler territory as well, so if you guys never played Devil May Cry 1, uh, feel free to click off this video if you want to, or if you don't care about spoilers, stay tuned and we'll get right into it for a game that is well over 20 years old. <laughs> so Devil May Cry begins with Dante being attacked in his office by a mysterious woman named Trish. He impresses her by easily brushing off her assault and tells her that he hunts demons while in pursuit of those who killed his mother and brother. She says that her attack was a test to the demon emperor Mundus, whom Dante holds responsible for murdering his family, and is planning to return. The scene then jumps to their arrival in an immense castle, whereupon Trish abruptly leaves and vanishes over a high wall. Dante then explores the castle and encounters the game's stock enemies, the demonic marionettes. He then also finds a new sword called Alistair, um, and battles the first boss, a giant spider demon named Phantom. Dante then wins this battle and becomes a recurring, uh, which then becomes a, a reoccurring theme. Uh, the defeated boss monster reappears a short time later in a corridor, impelling the player to choose a more narrow escape or to fight in tight con confines. Uh, after further explanation, exploration and combat, Dante battles a demon named Nello Angelo, who impresses Dante with his confidence. The demon wins by sudden. But then, uh, but suddenly flees upon seeing the half of the amulet that Dante wears. The demon attacks two more times more in the later missions and is eventually revealed to be Dante's identical twin brother, Virgil. After Virgil's final defeat, the, his amulet um, joins with his brother's other half and Force Edge, the game's default sword, uh, which belonged to the twin's father, becomes the powerful Sparta Sword. Uh, when Dante meets Trish, she betrays him and reveals that she too is working for Mundus when her life is endangered and in the aftermath of the fight Dante chooses to save her. When she begs him to explain why, he then says that he only did it because she looks like his mother. He then tells Trish um, that she has his mother's face. Trish is then still a demon and will never have his mother's fire. Dante then leaves Trish behind and Mundus appears uh, to tell her that she had failed him. Dante then finally confronts Mundus in a statue form. He then directs Dante's attention to Trish, who Mundus has crucified on a wall, uh, warning Dante if he does anything, Trish will die. Dante then turns to look at her, a uh, transgression of which Mundus attacks him. As Mundus appears to finish off Dante, Trish escapes her shackles and shoves Dante aside to make the attack for him. Uh, Dante then becomes enraged and unleashes the full power that he has inherited from Sparta. The statue then starts to crack and shatter, glowing into the shooting light in all directions before releasing the trapped Mundus from inside of it. Once freed, Mundus then spreads his wings into the shape of the background and into a dimension and then transports Dante into it. Uh, Dante then questions the reason of um, creating Trish while Mundus rhetorically answers that he would create anything, just like how he created Trish for his plot to weaken Dante. With a mighty imperative word to silence the demon emperor, Mundus flies up into the clouds just to lure Dante and he transforms into Sparta's form as the epic battle begins. Dante is vicious and leaves the amulet and sword with Trish's immobile body, giving the fucking funniest voice acting in gaming history. My mother risked her life for me. And now you, too. I should have saved you. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! Ever. <laughs> uh, before departing. Later, Mundus then returns and corners Dante, who then now greatly weakened, before he can flee the island, but Trish comes to 
uh, it comes in time and then lends Dante her power. Dante then defeats Mundus and who vows to return and to rule the human world. Uh, when Trish tries to apologize, she begins to cry and Dante tells her that it means that she has become human and not just a devil because devils never cry. Dante and Trish then escape to escape on a plane as the island collapses. After the credits, it is also revealed that Dante and Trish are now working together as partners and they renamed the shop to Devils Never Cry. So that was the general plot of the original Devil May Cry. So now we're going to go and talk about the reception that the game actually ended up um, developing over the years. Devil May Cry received a gold for the sales at award in the Entertainment and Leisure Software Publishers Association, indicating the sales of at least 200,000 copies within the United Kingdom. By July 2006, Devil May Cry had sold 1.1 million copies and earned $38 million in the United States alone. Uh, Next Generation ranked it the 48th highest selling game uh, launch title for the PlayStation 2, Xbox or GameCube between January 2000 and July 2006 in that country. Combined with the sales, the Devil May Cry series has reached 2 million units in the United States by July 2006. Uh, the game had received critical acclaim uh, by reviewers uh, from the game news uh, websites typically praising the games for its innovation, action, visuals, camera control, and the gothic ambience. Uh, the game also received positive reviews from uh, video game publishers similar to reasons uh, for similar reasons. So the game informer summarized that the review of the game by saying that it makes Resident Evil looked like a slow zombie. It was nominated for GameSpot's annual Best Action Slash Adventure Game uh, prize among the console gamers, which then went to Grand Theft Auto 3 that same year. Devil May Cry th also um, f uh, also frequents several top video games of all time. Game Fury, for instance, listed Devil May Cry as 31 on their top 40 video games of all time feature. Uh, in 2010, IGN also listed it as 42 in their top 100 PS2 games, and Dante also received a noteworthy praise to the point of becoming one of the most famous characters in gaming history. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty obvious considering the fact that he's very similar to um, Leon Kennedy in every way, shape, and form. Uh, the game also then received the subject to criticism, however, the next generation did object it to the difficulty level, wondering that if the challenge uh, was added to the prolonged gameplay, the electric playground pointed the, to the unusual control scheme and the lack of configuration options. Shortcomings such as flickering and jaggingness, a game spy cited that the camera's behavior is a learning curve for the controls and its graphical shortcomings such as flickerings and jagginess. GameSport also criticized the game's conclusion for its dramatic change in gameplay uh, to the rail shooter like um, at the story's climax, as well as a leveling off to, of the difficulty Lastly, game critics felt that the story was overly short and the characters were very undeveloped. Um, so that's all the criticism I think that Devil May Cry uh, actually had overall. You could probably try and find some more other reviews and more faithful looking ones online somewhere else on the internet. So now we've got my final verdict of Devil May Cry 1. I don't see it as the best in the series, however, but I can see the passion that has gone into it. Um, considering the fact that this has been obviously a Resident Evil 4 prototype. In some alternate universe, it would be funny just to see this as the official Resident Evil 4, but you could just imagine what a remake of this would look like through the RE engine that we got for Resident Evil 7 and 8 and the remakes. Um, I do see myself going back to this installment every now and then. I have probably played Devil May Cry 1 more times than what any other human being ideally should. <laughs> But I do personally enjoy it nonetheless. So, those were my thoughts and opinions on Devil May Cry 1. Uh, what are your opinions on the series uh, as a whole? Maybe in a later uh, retrospective I might actually tackle the other games in the series. I probably might tackle the sequels, I might tackle the remake, I can probably tackle the anime series. Maybe the Netflix one when it eventually comes out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of Devil May Cry? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell um, so you guys will be up to date on everything that I post on the channel. And also, don't forget to leave every... well, not leave everything. Don't forget to go down in the description down below as well so you guys can also catch me on there. And also, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Alright everyone, thank you for making it to this part of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my Devil May Cry retrospective. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell if you can. Please, it would help my channel so much if you can. 
and also don't forget to go down into the description at the bottom when you can find some links that will lead you to my Instagram, my Twitch, my Twitter. Um, I'll be live streaming and posting as regularly as I possibly can. And also you guys can feel free to interact with me during then. And also please comment what you think I should do a retrospective on soon. Um, other than that, I ain't got nothing else to say. I uh, love you all to pieces. And I hope I'll see you guys and ladies in the next one.